हेलो दिस इज अजिंक्य वाक चौरे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स डॉक्टर बाबा साहब अंबेडकर टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी लोनेरे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑप्टिक्स नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस व्हाट इज इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑप्टिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑप्टिक्स इज द ब्रांच ऑफ फिजिक्स दैट डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ पाथ और ट्रैजेक्टरी टेकन बाय एन इलेक्ट्रॉन व्हेन इट इज मूविंग थ्रू अ रीजन वेयर इलेक्ट्रिक और मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज प्रेजेंट now before moving to the concept of electron optics let us revise the meaning of electric field and uh, electric field lines we know that there are two types of charges positive charge and a negative charge positive charge or a negative charge produces some uh, field in the surrounding region and this field is called as electric field this electric field can be represented graphically or pictorially with the help of electric field lines so electric field lines are the imaginary lines that are used to represent electric field pictorial in the case of positive charge the electric field lines are directed away from the charge and in the case of negative charge electric field lines are directed towards the charge this electric field can be calculated mathematically by using the formula E is equals to F upon Q, where F is the electrostatic force between the charges, and Q is the unit positive test charge. When a charge Q is placed in an electric field, then that electric field exerts a force on that charge, and that force is given as F is equals to Q into E. As force is a vector quantity, this electric force should have magnitude as well as direction so how to find out the direction of this electric force the direction of electric force depends on the type of charge if the charge is positive then the direction of force and electric field both are similar or same and when the charge is negative then the direction of force is opposite to the direction of electric field now let us consider the two metal plates a and b plate a is positively charged and plate b is negatively charged these two plates are separated by distance d and the electric field developed or set up between these two plates is capital e the direction of electric field is from positive plate to the negative plate electric field is a vector quantity keep this in mind and the potential difference between these two plates is denoted as capital v now we can calculate the electric field by using the potential difference and a separation between the plates actually this arrangement is quite similar to the arrangement of capacitor this is actually a capacitor so electric field can be written as v upon d where v is the potential difference between the plates and d is the separation between the plates according to definition of electric field electric field is the force per unit test charge force upon charge so by using that definition we can define the si unit for the electric field as newton per coulomb so the si unit of electric field is newton per coulomb now let us consider the motion of an electron in absence of electric field this is a basic case so consider an electron now this electron is moving through a region where electric field is zero so for that consider the two metal plates and uh, a battery is not connected to these metal plates so the potential difference between these two metal plates is zero and hence the electric field between the plates is zero now consider this electron is moving through this region where electric field is zero now electric field is zero that means the force acting on an electron will be zero and if the force is zero then acceleration should be zero and if the acceleration is zero there would be no change in the velocity of an electron that means the electron will follow a straight line path there will be no change in the previous path of an electron so it will follow a straight line path thank you